Okay, welcome to my thoughts on Google Stadia. Um, as of today, I mean, it's 8-25-2019, and hopefully this video will go up today, and it's in reference to my thoughts and overview of Google Stadia. Um, of course, um, there's a little bit of hype about it, and it's definitely a lot of talk, a lot of pros, a lot of cons, a lot of people, um, surprisingly, is against it. But um, after I really think about it, uh, the consoles have been around for so long that you kind of get used to that that trend and um i mean it's pretty hype you know competition is fierce out there um, especially with exclusives and all that good stuff ps has been doing it for a long time so has microsoft and in my opinion the next console i was going to purchase was going to actually be like the ps5 i mean i have an xbox x right now but i'm just trying to get off that train um and move on because uh, i think ps has better exclusives and then here comes stadia you know, trudging down the line. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? $129. And they're basically, you know, I don't have to purchase a console or a warranty. Now, let's check it out. I'm not going to get rid of my console. I'm going to keep and hang on to that. But I think it's worth giving out, um, shelling out a few bucks to hopefully save a few bucks um, later on down the line once this thing really gets up and running. So I put it together a little PowerPoint um, to illustrate you know, my thoughts and concerns of. And so virtual machine. So this is my thought. Um, I've heard about this terminology um, good years ago. Like I would say like maybe 10 years back in which, you know, you have a machine that powers you're allowed to use your regular, I guess, let's just use a laptop, for example, um, to work on another machine which is not here existing in your domain and it's like more powerful so it's just like having your laptop but you're able to access more power from a different source and that's basically what a virtual machine is in a nutshell um i do have the definition here that kind of helps out with it it says um a virtual machine is a software computer that like a physical computer runs in operating system and applications. The virtual machine is comprised of a set of specification and configuration files and is backed by the physical resources of a host. So keywords there, physical resources and host. So it's not you, it's the host that actually has the um, actual power or whatever it is that you're trying to access. I'm not saying, or the software in general. So that's basically how I look at Google Stadia. I mean, to me, it's just a virtual machine, um, I, a very sophisticated one at that um, streaming service um, that just allows you to play virtually anywhere. And for me, that goes a long way. I mean, is this worth the shot? Like I said, for one hundred and twenty nine dollars, why not just give it a just give it a whirl and see what happens? So we have let's pause this right here. The pros. No more having to purchase another console every four to five years, nor upgrade your PC. Now, not saying that you, you know, you don't, I mean, you don't have to. That's what they're basically saying. Not saying that you wouldn't want to, you know, you may want to um, do that on your own, especially people who have PCs. They're always looking to upgrade. It's more of a hobby than it is a necessity to um you know, stay on top, of, I guess you can say. I mean, to me, um, I just bought the Xbox X at launch, to be honest with you. And to me, it has a lot more life in it. So I'm not really ready to, you know, they have Scarlet coming out. I'm not ready to upgrade yet because I just paid like five to six hundred dollars for it, plus the warranty for it um, just to play what I have now. I mean, I'm not ready and I'm not financially, you know, as far as responsibility goes, able to shell out another one, another five to six hundred dollars, if that's what it costs, to buy another console again. No warranty needed. So far, I don't see uh, anything that says uh, you need a warranty to play Google Stadia if something breaks down. It's on their end. So they have their you know, responsibilities on their end, they'll take care of. I'm sure if something happened on their end, they're going to facilitate, they're going to fix it. They're going to do whatever, reimburse or whatever, just because that's just the way it is. It's not like you're going to have to spend another $129. No. 
ideal for travelers. So I'm not a big traveler, but I have taken a few business trips here and there, and it's pretty cool to have that um, option of plugging in and playing if I want to. I don't want to bring my expensive console around somewhere that's pretty delicate and it gets banged around a little bit and next thing you know it's broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm sure that's happened to many people. Pro is only $10 a month. That's Google Stadia I'm talking about, which is cheaper than Xbox Live, which is $70 a year plus Xbox Game Pass, which is $10. So the streaming service is basically a Game Pass. That's all it is. You can buy games for the same price. But if you do the math, you don't have to pay for a live. You, you automatically, you know I mean, like as far as I know, you're automatically on if you had the internet. So that nixes that. You're just paying for the streaming service. With Xbox, you had to pay for the internet. You had to pay for live just to be able to connect to other people, $70 a year. And if you want your game pass, you had to pay $10 a month. Seems a little bit excessive on top of buying a console, warranty, and all that stuff. Cheaper than PlayStation Plus, $60 a year. Last thing I checked, last time I checked was $60 a year for PS Plus, and PS Now is $20 a month. Just the same thing. I mean, just do the math. Um, and uh, we already talked about play virtually anywhere. Okay. Could be buggy for a while. This is the cons. And could is not really, you know, it's definitely going to be buggy for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe that's why they're giving away three months um, for the people who are just, you know, jumping into this thing. The game library isn't that big. Even with their announcement last week of the games that are coming, like um, Cyberpunk 2077 and, you know, Destiny and all that stuff, it's still a small library. I mean, it's not that big. So, uh, Microsoft and Sony may adopt a similar service. So, that's kind of a pro also, you know. I think they can actually do something like that. That's a con if you're a Stadia person, but just think about it. I mean, Microsoft and Sony does have the ability to hop on. And if they do, um, they could just squeeze Google out. But who knows? That's way too early. And Google has a jump start. Prices could go up. So we always see this, you know. They just get you, um, people would like to draw you on in with the cheap prices and everything. And then slowly things just start skyrocketing here and there. Marketing is very, 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 very tricky for the consumer. So can't fall for everything. And no VR at the moment, which is pretty, you know, for me, that's pretty big because the only reason why I want to jump ship from Xbox is because they promised that before when the X was about to come out. And so I hopped on board and then all of a sudden they just yanked the cable saying, nah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to focus on gaming or whatever. I said, that's lame. You're just lying to your people. And like, you know, it's just taking away from the whole experience, your hard earned dollars you spent. So that's pretty much what I have for my little PowerPoint presentation. And like I said, to me, it's like the poor man's dream or like it's not necessarily poor. If you're in college or something like that and you don't want to spend five or six hundred dollars, but, you know, or, you know, you want to get your kid something and you're like, ah, I don't want to spend five or six hundred dollars. Just keep repeating the process. Then why not just give something a chance for one hundred and twenty nine bucks free shipping and see what it's like? I mean, if it's not good. Uh, $129 for an investment that doesn't pan out isn't that, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, if you took a loss on it. But I think that down the line, it's worth it. $10 a month. Hey, it's not too bad to see what's going on. And they do have some decent titles at launch to play. Um, so it's just up in the air. So I will be doing play-by-play, -play, um, my thoughts on the process once it comes out. Um, I'll just cover a few things and see how it looks and everything like that. And just do like, you know, my week one or two or three or however I want to do it and just give you my honest opinion on if it's worth it or not. Believe me, I'm here to save money, but play at top quality. And, you know, I just, you know, it's, it's, that's a hard thing to do these days. <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comment section below. These are just purely my thoughts. I'm not trying to trash nobody. Just trying to get that game, you know, game on when I want it. When I want it. Thanks.